Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross, and today we have an updated election map. Who do you want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We are also using Real, Real Clear polling website for the battleground states. Let us begin. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Hawaii, to the right of it, is blue for Kamala Harris and the Democrats. Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, when we get to Nevada and Arizona, with six and 11 electoral votes, we have to consult realclearpolling.com. All right, we are looking at Arizona, where Trump has a two-point lead against Harris, and we are looking for Nevada also. Nevada, Harris has, oh wow, they are neck and neck in Nevada. So Nevada is blue, while Arizona is red. Let us go back to the map. Arizona with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Okay, we are going up to Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, the state, is red for Donald J. Trump. The biggest district in Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the littlest district in Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is back to being a deep red for Donald J. Trump in this exciting twist of events. Minnesota, don't you know, uh, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. And now, here we go with Wisconsin, 10 electoral votes. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, are both battleground states. Let's go to realclearpolling.com. Michigan. Kamala Harris is a 1.7 lead on Donald J. Trump, whereas on Wisconsin, let's see. Wisconsin Harris also is taking the lead. So, go back to the map. We're going to have Wisconsin and Michigan currently for Kamala Harris. Blue. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Now here comes the red wave. Indiana with 11 electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, 17 electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes, red for Donald J. Trump. And Florida with 30 electoral votes is back to being heavy, red for Donald J. Trump. The tsunami came after Kamala's tsunami of blue up north. Georgia is a battleground state again. Let's consult realclearpolling.com. Georgia is a two point lead for Donald J. Trump. We are giving it to him based on the state racing polls. Back to the map. Georgia with 16 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump, but North Carolina is a battleground. 
Let's consult realclearpolling.com. Let's find North Carolina. Trump leads, oh, by a slim pickings margin, 0.4. We are going to give it light pink for Donald J. Trump or make it red. Let's go red all the way. 16 electoral votes. Virginia with 13 electoral votes is deep blue for Kamala Harris. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home, country row with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Sorry, my wife gave me a look. Pennsylvania with 19 electoral votes. Donald Trump needs this state in one of his three pathways to victory. Let's see realclearpolling.com for who has the lead in Pennsylvania. Oh, Harris has a slim margins lead by 0.7% or points, whatever you want to call it. So we have to give Pennsylvania to Kamala Harris. Whoop, whoop. That Oprah interview did her a very good service. Now, for the rest of the states, we are going from New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maine, Rhode Island, and the rest, including New York, are all blue for Kamala Harris, including Philadelphia. This currently puts Kamala Harris in the lead with 272 electoral votes and Donald Trump with 259. This is quite scary, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a Republican, if you are a Democrat, this is exactly what you want, and we are happy for you either way. Who do you want to win, baby? Trump. All right. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out, out of control. <laughs>